Hey guys, welcome back. So today I just randomly decided to film this. Um, yeah, uh, I'm getting ready to make some baby food for this little guy right here. Um, and some of this is things that I've never, I, that I've never tried before. <laughs> what are you hitting, mommy? What are you hitting, mama? Um, some of it is things I've, that I have made before and other things is new. So just come along with me. I'm going to show you just real quick how I make some baby food. Okay, so it is super convenient to just buy baby food and I do that a lot. But um, every once in a while I will get some supplies and I uh, just make my own batches of stuff for him. Because it is so much cheaper and it just takes a little bit more effort and time. Um, but it's definitely cheaper. And then you actually are knowing kind of what's maybe going into your baby's food. So I'll just show you what I'm doing. I am not an expert by any means. And I know that what I'm doing, you could probably do it like a lot healthier, but I'm just showing you what works for me and what I've, you know, tried some and yeah. So I apologize. My kitchen is a little bit of a mess, but um, I was not planning on filming this. I just randomly decided to. So this is my blender that I have. It's actually the instant, it's like the instant pot brand. It's the Ace. My mother-in-law actually got this for me and she got it for me because it was on really, really good clearance at Walmart um, a few months ago. And I love this blender. It is so good. Um, it actually has features on it where it will cook things. And I've, I've, I've got some background music back here. Um, so I've tried some of the options where it cooks things. Um, actually, I've just tried it once. I think I tried the puree option once. So you can actually put... Um, what I did when I tried it was I put raw baby carrots in here and some water. And then I think I hit the puree button and it will actually... There's an element in here and it will bring the water to a boil and it will cook whatever you've got in there. And then it will blend it up. So it like does, it'll cook and do everything for you. So um, a lot of people like to get this um, and make soup and things like that. But it is really, really good for baby food if you're needing to actually cook something that way. Right now, what I'm getting ready to do is something I haven't ever made before. I just grabbed this at Walmart. This is a frozen mixed fruit. Pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango. Boy, somebody is just super talkative today. He's actually in his high chair. My father-in-law actually made this for us. So, um, I'll have to show you guys some other time, but it is a high chair. Um, and then if you flip it on the other side, it is a rocking horse. There's a little rocking, the little head down there. It's a rocking horse, and then you flip it the other way, and it's like a little desk. But right now, we just pretty much use it for the high chair. So, anyways, this is just frozen fruit. I'm, I mean, you, this is pretty much what you would buy to like make a smoothie. So, this is new to me. I haven't ever done this before, but um, I put part of this bag in here, just a little bit, because. I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm going to put my lid on here. And then it just, as soon as you lock that lid in, it automatically comes on. It's like a safety feature. So actually I need to put some water in it. So let me do that first and I'll blend this. All right, so I put a little bit of water in there. I might end up having to add more. I, like I said, I've never tried specifically this before. I'm gonna start this blender, but I'm hoping it doesn't scare him. Sometimes loud noises make him cry. But this blender is surprisingly not that loud, so um, I'm just going to hit the medium blend button and hit start. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Oh my, was that loud? It's all right. Okay, so it's still pretty chunky, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more water. And I'm going to get this pureed up to where I want it to be. And I'll probably have to do something with this guy because Tim's a little bit scared. 
It's all right, buddy. So we'll we'll check in. All right, so I think I've got this. Oh yeah, that's a really good texture. It's almost just like a smoothie kind of texture, but um, this will be good to give him for like you know part part of his breakfast or just like a snack or whatever. But um, so the next thing I have are these are my little baby food jars. These are my here. Do you want to hold one? You want to hold it? No. <laughs> So I bought these baby food jars on Amazon, and I'm really glad that I got them. Um, I, if I can find them again, I'm sure I can. I'll link them below if you're curious. But um, these are from the brand Sage Spoonfuls, and they are plastic. And here, let me just set this up. Um, the lids do just twist off. And these are four ounce containers. They are marked to three, but they do hold up to four. Um, they are microwave safe, freezer safe. The only downside I will say that I found to them so far is that once you stick them in the freezer, um, they do get brittle, I guess is what I would call it, because so many times I'll grab one of these out of the freezer and I've dropped them and you can see how it, this little lip has busted off, but it's still like, it's still all right. But um, a few of the ones I have, I've broke off part of the little lip there. But other than that, I love these and it was a set of 12 of them. I can't remember how much they were, but I'll, like I said, I'll link, I'll link it below if you're curious. <laughs> Are you growling? So, like I was saying, there are definitely probably healthier ways that you could do this. Like, I mean, buying the fresh fruit yourself and preparing it yourself, but um, there's still some in there, but um, you could actually, like I said, buy the fruit yourself, prepare it and everything like that. And it would be probably even more of a healthy option. But for me, this works. I like to get um, frozen stuff. So this looks like it will be really good. Um, it does look maybe a little bit thin. Hi, I'm, a, I'm not vlogging very well. Um, it looks a little bit on the thin side, but I'm pretty sure, it, I know he'll eat it, it'll be fine. Um, I just maybe shouldn't have added quite so much water. But um, that is my basic thing that I do. Uh, I just blend the food up and put it in these jars. So the thing that I do the most is, uh, like today I went grocery shopping and I got this right here. I know the lighting is horrible guys. Like I said, I was not planning on filming this. I just was like, you know what? Let's share this. So I got, so I got some frozen sweet potatoes and some sliced frozen carrots and some butternut squash. So with these, it's nice because I can just steam them. Hey. <laughs> I can steam them in the microwave in just like a few minutes. And then it's the same thing as the fruit. I just dump it in my blender, you know, put a little bit of water in it and blend it up um and I can mix them together or um I can add some I'll probably add some meat um of some kind I'll probably try to add some chicken or something to it which you would just you know boil some chicken or whatever and sh kind of shred it up and you can put it in the blender too and it'll blend up so um I'm probably not going to prepare all that tonight but it is very simple and it's just like I said it is so so nice to um here you go it's so much cheaper um oh our new thing is like throwing things that's like what we do we throw things because it's fun i'll just show you guys i did like i do buy the pre-made baby foods like here's some green beans and then i try to get ones with the meat in it mixed in this is chicken and rice he really likes this one um <laughs> And then he does really like some of these, uh, these Hawaiian Delight from Gerber. So I do like to keep some of these on hand, but 
I have started to try more and more to like make my own batches because like just for instance this two pack right here you know this is two meals for him but a t this was like a dollar thirty something I think whereas now I don't remember the exact numbers but um on these I do remember that the carrots were like 78 cents and the squash and the sweet potatoes were both um like a dollar or something like very affordable I forgot to mention these little sage spoonfuls containers they come with a huge stack of labels that you can fill out for like what the food is and the and the date and they just stick right on top of here and they peel off very easily they are like super easy peel they don't leave any residue like you know when you peel them off when you're done with it they're super clean uh rip off <laughs> they're a super clean rip off anyways so they do come with those too just some little tips like i said once again you could probably even make it a lot healthier and better if you bought your own butternut squash or sweet potatoes or carrots whatever you're using and prepare them yourself cook them yourself and then blend them but it is very convenient to just get the frozen ones and steam them and blend them so that is what i'm doing right now so I just decided to make this quick little video for you guys because, um, I, like I said, I wanted to start vlogging a little bit more um, and just kind of showing you guys my life, some of the stuff that I like to do. I'm still having trouble looking at the screen. I don't know why. I'm still having trouble looking up at the screen instead of at the lens. You would, you would think I've never videoed before, but goodness. But... Anyways, all the stuff that I make, all the baby foods I make, he loves. Tonight, he just had a um, sweet potato and chicken blend that I had made. So, <laughs> You are goofy. Yeah, goofy boy. So, anyways, um, that is it. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um... So yeah, uh, I definitely recommend this Instant Pot Ace Blender if you haven't um, heard of it or if you like to make soup a lot. This thing is pretty good for soup. Like I've seen, I've seen videos of people putting like just cutting up a potato, putting it in and all the ingredients and making like potato soup or uh, broccoli cheddar soup. You can put all the ingredients in like raw and it will cook it for you and blend it and stuff. So if you're a soup eater, um, this is a good blender. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.